Hey yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski and today we have a catching event to cover. A very cute moral catching event by the obvious, you know, thumbnail and you know art used for this for this catch event. So this catch event is actually called Hey, that isn't Pikachu Tuesday. So what that's referencing is an old meme where back when I believe Gen 2 was releasing, people thought that uh Maril was gonna be named like Pika Blue, or they kind of just coined it as the term Pika Blue, because it was very mouse-like, uh it was very Pikachu-like, except it was blue. So, anyways after that quick little history lesson let's go ahead and jump into the details of the catch event this event is going to be taking place on tuesday the 19th of april 2022 at 10 p.m utc 6 p.m et 5 p.m ct or 6 a.m cst if you're in that cst time zone please do note that it is on the 20th of april on wednesday as opposed to tuesday the 19th the location is going to be at pedal bird city in hoenn on channel one you don't have to be on channel one but it's nice to see all those faces around catching pokemon you're going to have one hour to catch as many Maril, Surskit, Masquerade, and Lotad as possible. And then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit your entry to a staff member. We'll cover that a little more in detail later. Now, the scoring is going to be the total sum of the IVs, which you can always view by going to the IVs page on a Pokemon in their summary and going down and checking the bottom number, plus species bonus, plus nature bonus. Species bonus and nature bonus are specific to each event. For this event, for example, there is a plus five species bonus for a Marl. So if you catch a 150 total IV Marl, that's, you know, a Marl, uh, it ends up being a 155 on top of that. If you're able to get the Adamant Nature, you'll end up with a 160 total store Pokemon, which is very, very relevant. So the nature bonus for this event is obviously going to be plus five for adamant now onto the basic rules the basic rules are the same for every single catch event so if you've heard this spiel you can go ahead and skip through a little bit but if you have any questions about these please ask them in the comments below and i will try to get the, the best answer i possibly can get for you guys so to win first through third places that are sorted from by highest to lowest you need to submit an entry that scores the highest to win fourth place you need to submit an entry that scores the lowest you can only submit one entry Players can enter the event with only one account slash character. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, and unevolved. Evolved or unevolved forms of the list of Pokemon will not be accepted as a valid entry. You must be the OT of the Pokemon. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper to submit it. So, I get this question a lot. To submit an entry for a catch event, you simply have to right-click the, the moderator's name in global chat. They'll be very active during the event. Right click their name, click whisper, and then drag the Pokemon from your party down to the chat box and a string of numbers should appear if you did it correctly. The staff members for this catch event that will be accepting entries are going to be Techno Vortex, Cosmuth, and Canine XL. So thank you very much to those three for, you know, putting through the effort and hosting and everything. Uh, in the event of a tie, the winner will be determined by earliest catch time. So not just the winner, but in placements. Um, if both, if two people catch a 170, uh, the person who caught it earlier will get bumped up an entire placement. That placement could be the first place, could be the second place, could be the third place. It's not just like the, the winner, if that makes sense. I feel like this is a little misleading when they, when they do that, but that's fair. On to the prizes. So a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shiny prize. I will be personally be hunting for the shiny at some point, but a gift, shiny Marl, your choice of nature, two moves and three selectable IVs alongside three times 28 in the other IVs, plus a thousand reward points. If you don't ever care for the shiny being offered at a catch event, it's still worth to play it if you have the time to make some Poke Yen, as well as have that shot at a thousand reward points worth around three, I want to say 3.4 mil Poke Yen at the current time of recording. Uh, second place is going to get 500 reward points, and then third and fourth place will both get 250 reward points respectively. That covers all the details for this catch event. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video by clicking the like button, and if you want to see more videos keeping up to date on catch events, please hit the like button. It encourages me to do so much. Let me, let me know that you guys like enjoy them uh consider subscribing for future pokemon content and stay up to date with pokemon future events check out all the playlist links down below if you want more content after this video is over consider joining the discord to see when videos like this are uploaded faster and then finally if you want to go above and beyond you consider becoming a youtube member to me for five bucks a month drop in a twitch prime or a twitch sub over on my twitch hitting up my patreon or my venmo all that stuff is linked down below thank you guys so much for watching have a great day and the i wish you guys the best of luck at the marl catch event